This is the first chord I've ever strummed on this guitar. Wow. Today I'm gonna do a video that I've never done before, which is a true unboxing video. True unboxing as in, I just got this right now. I haven't even opened it. The tape is still on the box. The box is completely sealed. I've only seen this guitar by how it looks online. Never seen it in person. This acoustic guitar, I only bought for $150. So let's see what this $150 guitar is like first impression. By the way, the box says the best choice products. I bought this on Amazon. Oh, so it's completely taped on every corner. So I have to get a knife. <sighs> All right, got my 1980s buck knife that I also found at a pawn shop. Damn, this is actually very well sealed. Make sure to always close your knife after you use it. It's coming from experience. All right, so let's see. They just gave me an empty box. I'm just kidding. That'd be terrible. First thing that I see on top of everything is this manual, a guitar manual and it tells you how to change the strings and it gives you some product warranty information, but who really cares about that kind of stuff, you know? Oh, this is pretty useful, I guess. On the back, it tells you, you know, what is included in the sale. And it also tells you the anatomy of a guitar, you know, what a tuner is, you know, what the strings are. So basically this is a basic beginner guitar, a guitar for someone who's never played the instrument before. Oh, there's some other stuff inside. There is a, Pick guard, very cheap pick guard. This, this is like literally like paper. Look at this, look how flexible this is. It's like a fan. Interesting, so let's put this on the side. And it has a little baggie with all the goodies inside. Gives you a capo, pretty good. Gives you some strings with a couple picks inside. So I'm assuming the strings are not installed on this guitar. It's like a little uh, handkerchief thing. I guess to clean the guitar. It kind of reminds me of the glasses cleaner, you know, cleaning your glasses. Very cheap strap, but still a strap regardless. And a tuner, electric tuner. Pretty good. Dude, for 150, they're giving you all this? Damn. All right, so let's see the guitar itself. The guitar is in a pretty good quality uh, gig bag type of thing. It's definitely not a very, very high quality, but it's better than nothing. So let's open this and see what's inside. Like I said, I've never bought a new guitar ever in my life. Whoa, okay. So it's packaged very nicely. So this is the guitar. So right off the bat, my first impression is packaging is done very well. I don't know where this company is based from. All I know is it's 150 bucks and it's a cheap guitar, but they put a lot of effort into the packaging. This is very well done. Allen wrench. Whoa. Oh, so there are strings installed. So the strings are covered by a piece of paper which is taped onto the fretboard. So it's, I guess, to protect the fretboard, to make it not dirty and whatnot. So let's cut this. And again, always make sure to close the knife. Okay, so here it is. Let's see if it's tuned. All right, so it's definitely not tuned. That would've been incredible if it was perfect tuning, but... Action is pretty good. It's not bad at all. This is my honest first impression. Never seen this guitar in person, but overall so far, dude, for 150 bucks, this is like very, very good for 150 bucks. I mean, I can't really say the, t the, s the tone, but just from the build quality itself, the wood finish is actually very well done. This is 100% a laminate guitar. Definitely not, you know, a top tier premier quality wood, but still this blue hue type of finish, it looks actually very good. The bridge, the wood on the bridge is pretty solid as well. Fretboard is, is really good quality actually. So I'm gonna tune this guitar real quick and just see how it sounds like. All right, 
right, so the guitar is now tuned. So let's see what it sounds like. This is the first chord I've ever strummed on this guitar. Wow. Okay, so first thing right off the bat, this guitar does not sound like $150. I'll just get that out of the way. If somebody handed me this guitar and I was blindfolded and they told me to guess a price, honestly, I would say this is easily a $500 sounding guitar just on the tone itself, not regarding the build quality, you know, the type of wood they use, the finish, etc. purely on a blind test on a tone sound. Sounds very, very, very good. I reviewed a Jasmine guitar and I think that was like 130. This sounds better than the Jasmine for sure, which is kind of crazy because the Jasmine is a brand name. You know, Takamini is the owner of Jasmine. This is a brand name, but I mean, best choice products, that doesn't even sound like a guitar name. You know, it sounds like some kind of like, it just sounds like a home goods product company, you know, something that will sell like towels whatever, but I really don't like this name for the guitar because this just is not a, I mean, dude, you don't put this type of name on an instrument, you know? But just from what a guitar is supposed to sound like, this is a very good sounding guitar. In fact, this guitar sounds so good to the point where I feel like I should do a professional, quote unquote, professional tone test with an actual condenser mic. Right out of the box, action is actually very, very good. This is a little bit higher than what, I, what people would normally say as low, but I have no issues playing with it. And it's good enough for me to not even set it up. It's a great action height for both strumming and also finger picking. If I had to give a rating for this guitar build, I'd say this is a seven out of 10 for the build. They didn't use the highest quality woods and you can clearly tell that because it's just a really light guitar. This is like four pounds, maybe very light. But even though it's light and even though the wood may not be the highest grade, just the build quality itself and you know the durability of the guitar, this is a very durable guitar. But the part where I'm the most impressed is the tone. I mean, this is like, Sounds very, very good. Definitely does not sound like a $150 guitar. My recommendation for those who are looking for a budget guitar, less than 200, maybe a practice guitar, a beater guitar, a guitar you don't really care too much of how it looks or the brand name, bro, get this. Best choice products. Even though this is a terrible name for a guitar, it truly is what it says. It is a pretty good best choice product. This is a very good product. It's a very good guitar. Overall, very impressed. And actually, I feel like I might do more unboxing type of videos like this because this is just like, this actually kind of blew my mind low key on how good this guitar is. Very impressed with best choice products.